New Britain Public Library was my childhood library, and every Saturday morning my mother would take me and my sisters there, and we'd spend hours getting lost. One of my favorite memories of going to the library was getting my library card, and the goal was to be able to print my name. And so as soon as I found out that that was the secret trick to being able to take out library books, I practiced and practiced, and finally Mrs. Virginia Smith stood at the desk and gave me the form and I printed my name and the last letter of rice, the last E, dangled off the end of the line but I got my library card anyway. When I go to the library I bring anyone that I happen to be with. One comes to mind, my niece Mia, um, she was little, she used to go to the Phoebe Griffin Noise Library in Old Lyme, Connecticut. When she got a little older she painted a whale an actual whale-sized sculpture um, to get to be auctioned off and to raise money for the library. A patron bought it and left it in the garden, so Mia's whale is still in the, in the library garden. Uh, Amy Rillinger, who lives in uh, Massachusetts on the Rhode Island border, is a librarian who, uh, although I don't patronize her library often because I don't live there, we connect on the book level frequently, and she just recently did a program of poetry, teaching poetry, and not even teaching it, but introducing middle school students to the idea of loving poetry and expressing their own lives. And she's such an inspiration to me. I still prefer to do my research in a good reference room. I, you know, find a carol, if there are carols in the library, or sit at a reference table and just pour through the materials that are there. Um, I find it so much deeper and more satisfying than just Googling something. And I feel as if my research done in libraries stays with me much longer. Library budget cuts are tragic and so short-sighted. Um, reading is integral to human development and to um, the goodness and compassion and um, knowledge and how better to find that than in the library. I've written a new novel, The Silver Boat, and it's about three sisters who have to face the fact that their mother has just died and they have to figure out what to do with their beloved family home. And I feel as if that's an issue that too many of us have faced and I have in my own life.